This program is brought to you by Emory University. Hello, this is Tony Martin of Emory University, and I am in Victoria, Australia, at Knowledge Creek, where I'm looking at some of the Cretaceous rocks that are in this area. And I'm very happy to be here, see these beautiful rocks, look at the great variety of trace fossils here, and start to get some ideas about how these trace fossils may have related to polar environments in Australia 110 million years ago. I'm looking at some enig enigmatic structures that are in the Otway group exposed here. This is possibly a tetrapod burrow of some sort. It is filled with sand. It has kind of an oblong ending to it and a tunnel-like beginning. A similar structure is above it, filled just with sand and having also somewhat of a spiral shape. As we go over to the right, we can see that there is yet a third structure, which is similar but a little more collapsed, filled with the same sand that we see in the structure to the left. It's possible that these three structures are related to one another, that they were formed at approximately the same time. My tentative identification of them is as tetrapod burrows that have been preserved in alluvial to fluvial sediments. And the only tetrapods that would have been large enough to make burrows like these would have been small dinosaurs, of which there were many in the area, uh, small ornithopod dinosaurs, a few small theropods that could have burrowed as an adaptation for dealing with the polar winter in this part of Australia 110 million years ago. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University. Please visit us at emory.edu.